My name is Marek Larwood and I am a mid to very low level cook. I am going to sample this microwave meal and from sampling this meal, I am going to make my own lasagna. But here's the key point. I'm not going to use any cookbooks. I'm not going to get any help. I'm not even going to use my own hands. Now, I am going to use my own hands, but I'm going to guess what all the ingredients are. And my aim is to make a better lasagna, no matter what the cost. Nice bouquet. I think my main aim is that the cheese shouldn't look like mucus. Right. First of all, Cheese, minced pasta, tomatoes, tomato puree as well. There must be, if in doubt, put onions in. Herbs in there. I always put chilli in things to disguise a lot of the things that go wrong. Basil's always in Italian stuff. White sauce I've got a problem with. I know from listening to my mum talk you've got to make white sauce, but I don't really know what goes in white sauce. That could be hot cardboard with a bit of tomato sauce on it. I feel more confused than anything. White sauce. What goes into white sauce? Closest thing to white sauce is probably milk. So I'm just going to start at milk and work my way up into white sauce. I like Parmesan. Okay, I've got my list and I'm just going to go for it. I'm here, as you can tell by the soaring of metal on bone, I'm here at the butchers. I'm going to buy some meat. Can I have some mince, please? Enough for a, a medium lasagna. Got a pound? Yeah, that'll do. Looks nicer than the other one already. Is probably the first or second most important thing. I'm just going to turn the oven on. What is 200 in gas marks? Probably about five, maybe. I'm going to, have to put it to six. So what I'm going to do first of all is fry up some of the mince um, with uh, some onions and some garlic, just to give it some of that base flavour. And also, you're supposed to wash your hands. Just take it for granted. <laughs> take it for granted that I washed my hands before I did this. If you put a bit of salt on the onions. It makes the um, no difference whatsoever. All right, I'm just lightly cooking the onions. I'm going to put the garlic puree in there. Just give it a bit of edge. That will do. Some people think it's important to tidy up as you go along. These are the sort of people who I sort of stay away from in normal life because I think they're generally control too controlling and um, find them quite sexually aggressive. Right, let me turn this down. And now I'm going to add my mince from the nice butchers. I'm going to cook this through and then in the a minute I'm going to add some stock cubes. But the thing I'm most worried about is the white sauce. The best way of doing this is to put everything on the chopping board at the same time. Sometimes I see how many tomatoes I could do in a row. Four. Uh, Four. Or if you're just starting out, just do two or three. White sauce, butter, and like I said, start with milk and work upwards because milk is closest. Milk is basically thin white sauce, right? Now it just looks like buttery milk. So I'm guessing two handfuls of flour. All I want for it is to be <laughs> semi edible. That is disgusting. This is not right. I'm going to start again on that. Pour that down the side. <laughs> Pour that down the side of the sink. How difficult can it be to make white sauce? I'm going to put a bit of Worcester sauce to give my lasagna a bit of a kick. White sauce. 
I'm just wanting it to make it look nice it goes along. Creamy chip, creamy buttery cheese. Milk, cream, cheese, stir it. Put a bit of puree in there. Get that tomatoed up. Ketchup. I mean, I'm not. I'm fine with the mince thing. The mince thing is going all right. It's the this sauce is yeah. It's gone yellow now. I'm just going to put a little bit of flour in just to thicken it up. I think this is probably one of those things where you need to stir it for about three hours. Oh, stop globulising on me. I'm not even going to heat it anymore. I'm just going to whisk it. I hate you. doesn't taste too bad actually. One of the big secrets is to put parmesan in everything and then that will disguise any other flavour. Strong flavours disguise weakness. It's a bit like that with people who shout aloud and make lots of noise, a bit like strong flavours in food. It's disguise they've got really huge weaknesses and they actually undercooked as people. Make sure you leave all your utensils out so when you're whisking it the sauce goes everywhere. Maybe I'm supposed to put in the fridge more flour. <laughs> this is definitely wrong. I mean, you would just eat some. You would just eat something for a pound, wouldn't you? <laughs> if they could give everyone a lasagna for a pound, it would instantly solve all the world um, starvation problems. Always say thank you, thanks, mate. I don't know who's made this mess. A lot of it's just getting the gist of the flavour. Let's get the gist of it. I think it's getting thicker. I can't tell anymore. I think I'm probably making some like a pastry instead of cheese sauce. If in doubt, just put cream in. I'm going to heat it up now. I'm putting um, some chilli in to disguise uh, any mistakes. That is okay. Something's happening. Something's happened. Something is wrong. Oh God. Something is really wrong. Look at it. It's solidifying. Oh God. Milk. Back. Back to the milk. That is maybe more of the right consistency now. Right. There was always something about greasing the, the tray. I'm just putting a bit of butter on the bottom. So this beautiful lasagna will just ease itself out. Just making a sandwich. Snap to fit. There we go, there's one layer there. All right. Pretty disgusting. The more of this, the better, my book. <laughs> I want it to resemble a brick. One more layer. I probably spent 15 pounds and it made something worse than something that costs a pound. Hopefully this mature cheese will just disguise a lot of the mistakes we spoke about before. Good luck, mate. See you in 15 minutes. So, as you can tell by my face since you last saw me, I've aged 50 minutes. So that means it's exactly the time to take the lasagna out. I have no confidence in this whatsoever, beating a one pound lasagna made out of what could easily be a child. That is horrifically overcooked. There's not enough white sauce in it. Mine's better products, but cooked much worse. And that is cheap products, but cooked better. If you combined the products that I was given and gave the opportunity to the people who worked in those, in those conditions, making lasagnas for a pound, they could better themselves. I've, I've, I've probably not. What have I learned from this? Well, A, that you should 
fat and flour first when making a sauce, which is really important. I don't know why, but it is important. And also, when you heat something, that's when the flour thickens it. And also, don't just guesstimate the oven temperatures if you're cooking from degrees to uh, gas mark, because even just the slightest gas mark change can result in this brutal scarring of the surface of the lasagna. There's probably other things I've learned as well about sort of basic hygiene that people might have learned that I haven't taken on board. Anyway, happy cooking.